Hey everyone, welcome back to Plugin Tut. As always, your host, Matt, and home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. Today we're taking a look at the coming soon page plugin uh, and maintenance mode page <laughs> plugin by SeedProd. You can get that at wordpress.org slash plugin slash coming soon. Uh, go into your dashboard and type in coming soon and add that plugin, install it and activate it. And this is a great way to set up coming soon pages while your website's still under construction or you're doing some maintenance. Um, you can throw up a splash page and put up any message that you want, your logo, uh, you're coming soon, the date that you're gonna launch, a little sign up, that kind of thing. This plugin makes it super easy. They have a boatload of features which uh, really make it pretty powerful and it goes beyond then, it goes beyond just thinking like, well, just slap up a basic page and you know, whatever is up there is fine as long as there's a message. No, this plugin allows you to customize the look and feel of it, but also do some things like, you know, make sure your Google Analytics is still there so you're not losing any of that stuff or you can at least track it while your website is still in coming soon status. There's a lot of, and uh, maybe some SEO, uh, you know, page titles and, and descriptions, which is, you know, sounds minimal uh, in the beginning, but it's it's useful if you're, if you're, all of a sudden your site needs to be redone and you do want to continue to keep traffic uh, being tracked or you're new, you're new and you're trying to drive interest and you're wondering if people are actually coming to the site, you can do all kinds of stuff like that. There's a pro version as well. You can get that at seedprod.com. Starts at 29 bucks, which is fairly affordable and uh, or definitely affordable and goes all the way up to 199 for unlimited stuff, uh, which is normal the normal price point that we see in the WordPress world. I've already got the plugin installed and activated, so we're gonna dive right into uh, that, uh, into the settings. Again, you just search for coming soon, you install it, make sure it's this one right here, coming soon page by seed prod, activate it. There's no setup instructions, you just come right into settings, coming soon page, and we can go ahead and, and dive right in. So by default, it's disabled because if all of a sudden you installed it and it was activated, but you didn't mean to put the site into a coming soon mode, um, that would be a real bummer. <laughs> so it's by default, it's disabled and you can enable it uh, when you're ready. But what if you wanna see the changes? Well, that's, that's where the live preview comes in. I'm gonna open up the live preview right now, and it's gonna show you absolutely nothing because I haven't set anything up. So it's a blank page. You could install it, hit activate uh, or enable, and boom, blank, blank wall, that's what you got. But if you wanted to come in here and say headline, um, our business name, and you could say something, we're about to launch a new website check back soon, okay? And we could simply just come and hit save. And for most people, that's probably all you might need, right? <laughs> it's just a placeholder. You know, if you're, if you're building your own website yourself or you have a consultant to it or you are a consultant working for somebody, you know, you register the domain, you set up the hosting, you install WordPress or WordPress might already be installed for you depending on which host you have, but the website's not there yet. You still have to upload the theme. You still have to do the content. Um, Install and activate this plugin, put it your little little bio or a little coming soon message and you're done. You don't even need to customize it, it's there, unless you do wanna customize it, right? And let's take a look at some of those features. So you can upload a logo, let's go to the media image library. You can drop in, I'm just gonna select whatever I have here and hit save changes. Uh, I think I might be able to just refresh this and that'll just update it so I can see, yep. So there's our logo, so if you had your logo, um, but. So that's that. If you had your logo, boom, uh, you'd be, you know, you're, you're in business. A few of the other options that are here, and this is what I mean when I open up this, uh, this tutorial is it goes beyond just like throwing up a page. Like I'm sure there are other plugins out there that is just like a simple drop a page in. It's just like a placeholder page. Um, and you have a few options and you're, and you're golden. This one, this plugin takes it a step further because you can replace the favicon, you can upload the favicon, so it's, and you can put in the SEO site title and meta description and your analytics code. You can do all that stuff because the thinking in this process is you might be a startup. Um, you might not even had time to allocate budget to build a website or build the website itself. You just want a placeholder site that's gonna look okay and just gauge interest, and and I think that that's why they incorporate these options. It allows you to to keep that stuff going. But if you wanted to design a little bit more, you could. And I think they have a ridiculous amount of options, good options uh, for for doing that stuff. Uh, all of the settings for the background, for the content area, for the text itself. 
Um, and then you could even inject some custom CSS if you wanted to style it in a different way. But let's take a look at, at an example, right? So media library once, uh, once again, let's say this background image, insert to post. Um, I could just do a background color if I wanted to. Is it gonna be responsive? Yes. Do I wanna dim this a little bit so that there's some better contrast uh, on top of the text? I'm gonna say yes. Uh, do I want this background to repeat? I'm gonna leave all of this stuff the same. I'm gonna hit save changes. Go ahead and hit refresh. Uh, as soon as that's uh, as soon as that's saved, and now this what this will do is drop in that background, and there's that, there's that back, our background. So it's dimmed a little bit because it, it was a brighter uh, photo. Our logo is still there, but you can see our text is a little bit uh, hard to read because it's gray. Uh, well, that's okay. You can come into the text color settings. Let's say move that to white. Move that to white. Uh, I can check these different web safe uh, fonts, but I'm just going to leave that the same. Uh, save all changes and refresh one more time. You should see these colors come to life uh, a little bit. There's white, so it, it contrasts a little bit more. And again, you could put your, uh, you, you know, you could put your menu up here. You could put your uh, email up here. People could contact you, your phone number, your Facebook page, whatever. Uh, it's a great plugin, works well, it's easy to use. It's got a ton of options here for you to customize it. You can go into the advanced section, and again, if you're not using Google Analytics or you're using a Facebook pixel tracker, you can come in and drop these uh, in the header or footer scripts, maybe some other custom HTML. You can do all that stuff with the coming soon page uh, plugin by Seedprod. Check it out, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I hope it really solves the, the need for you to put up a placeholder page or a coming soon page. It's plugintot.com. If you enjoy videos like this, share it, like it. Share it with friends and family. <laughs> Tell them all about Plugin Tut. PluginTut.com, YouTube.com slash Plugin Tut. Thanks, everybody.